Hi, I'm Max, Operations Manager at Kansas City, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about ongoing mover training. Training and moving is important to do consistently, just like in sports or anything else you do at a high level. We realized we needed training weekly and daily about a year and a half ago when our damage numbers went through the roof. So we decided to make a plan and have our whole team come in one day a week so we could train on difficult and hard to move problem items. And we train morning every day, just a couple of minutes before the movers leave. Here's a couple tips that you can use while doing ongoing training with your movers. When setting up training, have the days planned a month in advance on what you will train on. This will keep you organized and prepared for the day instead of scrambling to find something to do the morning of. When doing mover training, you need to remember that training is a replication of what we are doing on site. So remember your teammates need to be acting as professional as they would on site. Remember, we play how we practice. Training should start out with a demonstration on how you should wrap an item that's being trained on so everyone is on the same page. You should then have stations and multiple leaders to help guide and keep everyone aligned. Let your teammates know what we have been damaging and why. This helps them understand why we are doing the training. Here at Kansas City, we do training every morning just for a few minutes before the guys go out to keep their mind on how to properly wrap and move items throughout the day. And then for one day a week for about an hour with our whole team. This keeps your movers knowledgeable and fresh with their skill. Training is important because it helps our damage numbers go down and it helps us replicate our service time and time and again and helps our movers be exceptional on site. And lastly, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me or anyone in Kansas City.